What's up everybody, Arctic Platypus here, back with another Battlefield 1 closed alpha gameplay video. This time, uh, it's some sniper gameplay. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, it's on the rainy side of the map. I thought that was a good time to snipe, because uh, in this game there's weather. It's the weather effects, uh, different parts of the gameplay, like visibility and such. And um, especially, like, glint on snipers affected by weather so in the rain and the fog enemies can't see the glint thought it was a great time to snipe you see there i got a freaking kill perfect sweet spot which brings me i want to talk about the sweet spot mechanic in battlefield one i think it's really cool i don't know quite how realistic it is so basically i mean how it works is there's like a certain range on every sniper rifle varying on every sniper rifle um in which if there's a one hit kill even in normal mode you see that? like this is normal mode not hardcore game mode and you see i got a torso shot on that guy back there like quite a while back now and um it was a one shot 100 damage hit and i mean it might be a little bit realistic like with bullet velocity maybe at a maybe it went really close distance the bullets moving so quick it just passes right through like a flesh target doesn't instantly kill the person i think realistically they would die they would bleed out whatever but maybe there's some sort of insta kill range on sniper rifles i'm sure it's um nowhere near the range the close range on this uh game i mean like snipers irl you're going like really far away like way more than 800 meters you're not going like 50 meters whatever you do in this game but anyway, I, I, I think it's a really fun system. It makes sniping a lot better. It makes it a lot more interesting because you have to find that range where you excel and you can stay there and just rack up the kills, picking off people from a distance on an objective, helping out your team. I think that's a lot of fun. It adds an element to the sniping. And you see, um, I mean, the pistol's not always the best option there. Had to switch to the sniper and you can get those clutch headshots like there. I mean, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you can do some cool stuff with snipers, and each sniper has its own role in this game, which I think is a lot better than in the system in BF4. In BF4, you're going around, all the snipers are pretty much, like, similar. It's really hard to tell the difference between them. Like, uh, I don't know, you have to go use some other website other than Battle Log. You have to figure out the bullet velocities on them, compare range and whatnot, accuracy. I mean, you have to kind of do that on this, too, but it's... It's a lot more simple and a lot more like the snipers are a lot more diverse on this game. I mean, there's like the uh, the one that I'm using is kind of a pretty long distance one, but then this the variant without the scope has like a really short range sweet spot. That's not realistic. I mean, it's firing the same bullet. It would realistically have the same sweet spot if a sweet spot's even realistic. But I think it's still pretty cool. It, it makes sniping a lot more fun. As you can see there, I just got two melee kills though, um, and. I'm going to start talking about some melee, melee system in Battlefield 1. It's a really cool system, and you're going to see in this gameplay and any other gameplay you see on YouTube. Meleeing is a lot more prominent in Battlefield 1. I mean, you're just going to see it a lot more than in the previous Battlefield games. That's because... I mean, you do have these closer engagement distances, for sure. That's a part of it, but it's also just a lot more fun, and there's different ways to melee, like the, with the bayonet charge. You can see I just used the straight-up hatchet, and here, um, I mean, if you hit from a frontal hit, it only does 80 damage, and if you hit with a uh, with a rear words, like from the back, it's um, a total 100 damage kill, and it still has the animation for those one-hit one hit kills. And also, if the person's less than 80 health, it, it'll be a one-hit kill if it's from the front. I think it might be a little bit OP at the moment, and you might need to be nerfed for those 80 damage hits. Because you can just kind of light up somebody with your pistol, like, once, and then just finish them off with a melee. And that's a little bit unfair in some scenarios. But I think overall, melee is a lot of fun. The bayonet charge is awesome. I think later in this gameplay, you're going to see some bayonet charge. It's really cool. I would... Uh, you guys probably like it, playing it yourself. It's a lot of fun. You just freaking jam your bayonet right into somebody. It's it's great fun. It's, it's a little bit brutal, but that's what makes it fun, you know. So you're going to see a lot more melee in this game, and I think that's a lot of fun. 
kind of adds some brutality to it. Maybe brings it more back to World War One setting rather than like a kind of steampunky World War One setting with all the freaking automatic guns and semi-automatic guns. I mean, I still like the game, but it doesn't really feel like an authentic World War One. If you're looking for a totally authentic World War One experience, you're going to want to play Verdun. And Verdun is a great game too. I'll not make a video on it, but this game's also a lot of fun. It, I mean, it's just much different style than Battlefield. Or, sorry, much different style than uh, Verdun. Battlefield 1 is, I mean, it's just a Battlefield game. You're not gonna get that ultra-realistic shooter experience that you might find, like Red Orchestra or Verdun or whatnot. Um, and you can see here, I can get this little clutch jump over the wall to escape that guy. That's a new mechanic in Battlefield 1. You can jump over a lot taller walls, you can vault them, it makes you a lot more mobile, and like I just did there, you can escape some scenarios you would not have been able to escape in Battlefield 4. I think it's a pretty good system. I like being able to hop those big walls. I mean, makes you feel really good about yourself. And right now, this is probably the I think this is the only bayonet charge in this gameplay, in this video right now, and and it followed up with a nice hatchet melee. You can see the first hit was not a kill. Second one played the animation rip that guy to shreds. That was pretty fun. That bayonet charge though, it's really cool. One thing about it that you might need to know is that if you're bayonet charging and you don't hit your target, you're prohibited from sprinting normally um, for a short amount of time, maybe like 10 seconds, I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that whatsoever. But um, it's a great mechanic. Sometimes maybe you gotta get to your teammate really fast to revive them or something great mechanic for that too it does slow you down afterwards though because you're not uh successfully bayonetting a guy but if you do successfully get that bayonet kill um you're going to be able to keep sprinting afterwards a little bit of an inter interesting system it's so you're not just continuously bayonet charging around the entire map you know i mean it, it's got they got to balance it a little bit um overall great system in the game i like it a lot and i think i saw a video by a different, I don't know what YouTuber, I think it might be like White Boy 7th Street, made a video uh, from the Battlefield 1 Squads event, and these guys set up an almost all melee game with a lot of bayonet charges. That was pretty cool. Um, I enjoyed that a lot, watching that. You can see I go for another melee. I, I do a lot of melee when I'm sniping, because, you know, just, it's sometimes more effective than the pistol. And I don't know why that first hit there wasn't an animation. I was from the rear of that guy. But, you know, it just it just is what it is. And, uh, you know, I'm just capturing C, being kind of an aggressive recon at this moment. And you can definitely do that in the Battlefield 1 game. Um, it is a bit hard with the sweet spot, because, like, that was, the, that was only, like, a 53 damage hit or something. A little bit hard. Then I got that. I got gassed a little bit, I got killed. I mean, it's a little bit hard being a close range recon. You gotta, you kinda do have to find that sweet spot to be absolutely effective, but coming up here, you're gonna see a really cool play. Um, probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in Battlefield. Definitely the coolest thing I've ever done in Battlefield 1. Look at this. That was actually a collateral headshot. Marks him in bonus. If you're just watching all those bonuses come in, there's the second guy with the headshot, Marksman. There's the third guy. So I got the collateral double headshot and then missed a few shots and got the third guy behind a rock. That was really cool. And it actually took me like probably like 10 seconds to actually realize that I got the collateral because those guys were right behind each other. I mean, why would you do that? Those guys were just lying on the ground right behind each other, got that double headshot. That was pretty awesome. And then, this is coming close to the end of the game here. Probably going to start wrapping up the video. You know, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, really, really awesome. If you guys are watching this video, please check out some other videos. If you're not subscribed, please do so. I don't know. If you don't want to, I don't really care. But, like the video if you want to. Dislike it if you want to. And, overall, guys, just have an absolutely amazing day. No matter what be the time at this moment, if it's nighttime, morning, I don't care. Have a great day. 
and I'll see you all in the next video.